Lauren Jackson live now and Lauren the Wyrick says they're just still not seeing enough customers pay. Yeah, Jonathan Morgan customers owe Birmingham Waterworks about $19 million in overdue bills right now. And the uh, they've already shut off about a thousand accounts, more than a thousand accounts, but they still can't seem to get people to pay those accounts. They've only restored about 279. Now, Waterworks, as Rick Jackson tells me, they're investigating to see why this is such a large gap. He tells me it could be uh, customers turning the meters on back themselves, or maybe they've moved. He says it's really unusual to see that many accounts going without water, but because of low traffic this coming Saturday is going to be the last day they're going to have the lobby open. Jackson says they saw more than 25,000 calls in one day right when the shutoff started, but that's as many as they usually get an entire month, and now they're back down to normal call volume. He says less than 50 people were utilizing the weekend option, so they're going back to normal hours, and they're still shutting off accounts every day to try and bring this money in, but they're willing to work with you to try and get your water back on. We are wanting and pleading and begging uh, the public who, if you're in a situation to where you can't pay your bill, if you're delinquent, please contact us. Call us as soon as possible. Don't wait until your water is already shut off. We're still offering those payment arrangements, those installment plans that would really kind of curtail to your specific need. But we just have to hear from you. We can't put the yeah, Jackson says before the shutoffs, they had only about 420 people utilizing their installment and payment plans. But in the last month since they've been turning off water, they now have more than 2,000 people using these payment plans. And they're hoping that more people will start and they can get some of these delinquent accounts right again. Live tonight here in Birmingham, I'm Lauren Jackson, WBRC Fox 6 News on your side. All right, thank you.